today I have got my coach, Coach Ewan Murray, here. He is going to be taking us through all the cues for my current program. So I think we've got three or four exercises today. He's going to cue the whole thing so you guys can pick up some tips on how you can improve your lifts. And I'm going to demonstrate the lifts for you. So. Okay, so the three things that Sophie usually struggles with with her sumo deadlift is the foot position. Okay, so our foot position sometimes changes, so we're going to be setting that uh, first and foremost to making sure that she's riding through the right area. The second thing she struggles with is keeping her upper torso nice and tight. Okay, sometimes once people will run their back, it's not usually because of a weak uh, lower back or anything like that, it's usually because their lats aren't coming on properly. And then the third thing is the lockout. I guess we look at the lockout the position that she's actually getting in the top of the motion. Big toe, okay, so the big toe is where we're trying to push through, okay, that's, that's basically the point of contact with the floor that you really need to start thinking about. When she's set up, she's about 45 degrees angle out to the side, and she's actually going to be pushing the world away. So when she actually goes into initiating that drive, her feet are going to drive outwards into the ground, and then her hips are going to come forward and backwards. That's how the, the, the deadlift's going to be initiated and finished. So the three things I'll be working on Sophie with with these is basically her initiation, so where she actually puts the tension um, when she initiates the movement. We want it all in the glutes and the hamstrings, okay? We don't want anything coming in the lower back. So really good cue for that is basically just when you first start the movement, imagine you're driving your heels apart, okay? So you're trying to basically push the world apart a tiny little bit with your heels um, and then plant your big toe into the ground, okay? Always plant your big toe because that's going to create, and try and, um, train without shoes. If you train without shoes in your gym, you're going to get a much better connection with the ground, you're going to be a lot more stable, and your proprioception around your hamstrings is also going to be a lot better. So that's the first cue we're going to go for. The second cue we're going to go for is basically at the bottom, it's going to be the tempo. We need a pause. So it's going to intentionally slow down the movement at the bottom, create about a one second pause there, and then initiate the movement from the hamstrings. To do that, she's going to imagine she's driving her glutes down towards the ground, and then forward. So it's like a scooping motion. And then the third part is the tempo itself. We've got to go for two seconds on the way down, one second pause, and then a one second contraction. We're going to try and keep that tempo for the whole set. Okay, so that first cue, we're going to be driving the beams apart. So it starts from here, plants a big toe. That's where the tension is going through, that's going to lie on the hamstring. And then these heels are going to drive outwards slightly. Good. Okay. Hips are going to come backwards, hips back. Two seconds down, one second pause, initiate down, pushing down from that. Stop here, pushing down, so you go down and then forward. Here, squeeze and down, good. So the third exercise we're going to be taking is uh, the kneeling hamstring curl, which is single leg. And this final part of the program is myo rep training. It's not doing any strength overloads or anything like that. We're literally, it's kind of like a metabolic training where we're trying to basically take the muscle fibers to failure on the first activation set. And then we're going to do four little mini rest pause sets afterwards, okay? So the first activation set is about 12 to 15 reps, and then we'll probably be hitting anywhere between four to six reps. And um, every set to failure with 10 second rest in between for the final, final four sets. Three cues I'm going to be looking for here from Sophie is the initiation, where she initiates the, the movement from. So a lot of people focus on the, on the pad. It's not all we want to actually be focusing on. We'll actually be focusing on the hamstring itself. Second thing is the stability of the hips. So we need to make sure the hips stable. It's not moving during the movement. And then the third thing I look for is actually a little bit of tension against the upper pad. So you'll notice there's a pad in front of her quad, and I want to be pushing against that pretty hard to make sure everything's set still. 
So the first thing we're going to be looking for is the upper body, that needs to be stable. So there's a pad at the top here, you're going to be pushing down hard into that. Everything's actually locked in. Keeps her abs nice and tight. And then she's also going to tuck her hips down very slightly and get this quad to push in against this pad. So she's going to push this way with her quad nice and tight. You'll notice already that it starts to pick up. As soon as she pushes in here, this starts to move, okay? She's not focusing on that pad at all. She's then going to think about her knee. She's going to shorten this distance, okay? She's going to shorten this distance to start with. Come from her hamstring, big pull up. Squeeze hard and then slowly back down to the start. So tension starts up here, moves down into this pad, and then comes through the ankle here. There's no focus on the pad here. We don't care about the pad picking up. We don't want to think about like a donkey kicking your ass up. What we're trying to do instead is think about what the pad is doing. We're going to do about 12 to 15 reps. Or you see it shaking, she's nice and long. This is purely hamstring isolation. Reps are starting to get tough now, okay? She's getting closer to failure. Okay, this is the final round for failure. Good, we terminate the set there. 10 second rest. Three, two, one, we're back in again. Squeeze hard. So in these little mini sets, we're only gonna get about four to six repetitions. That's probably gonna be within the range of uh, what she's actually able to get. Good, so here's the slap rep. And fail. Another 10 second rest, 10 to 15 second rest, another set after that. We repeat that four times. Now the other leg. Oh, yeah, nice.